Hello, chair. Mm -hmm. Hi, how are you tonight? I was writing on the chat. I was texting. <laughs> Do you see the chat? <laughs> ah, okay. Do you see the chat? Good night, teacher. Good evening. Hello everyone. How are you tonight? Check the chat. Check the chat. Todos chateando, right? It's not raining here either. Hello, Raquel. Estamos chateando. Teacher. Hello, good evening. Estamos chateando, váyase al chat. Okay. Al chat de Zoom.
Ahorita estamos platicando sobre la canción. About the song. What do you think about the song, Nancy? Write it on the chat. Hello. Es Hi. Escriba ahí en el chat acerca de la canción. Write on the chat about the song. What do you think? Do you think that man is in love? In the song where he says, I'm sailing, right? What do you think? ¿Qué piensan? What do you think? Uh -huh. Right on the chat, text, text me, text everyone, give opinions. Oh yeah, I think so too, Carla. Yes. Don't you think it is love? Okay. What do you think, Carlos? Juan Carlos? Hello, Ana Cristina, good evening. Estamos chateando ahorita aquí en Zoom. Por lo menos saluden ahí en el chat. Hello, teacher. Hello. <laughs> Estamos chateando aquí en Zoom. Ok. Por lo menos saluden, chicos. Estábamos hablando acerca de la canción. Oh, ok. Ok, Juan Carlos. Good. Uh -huh. Richard, uh -huh. eh... ¿Cuál canción? <risas> es que les envié una canción en el WhatsApp, pero ya hace como unos dos días, quizá. Uh -huh. Ah. Okay. Do you remember? It was to practice listening. Uh -huh. It was to practice listening and um, it was a song that uh, uses a lot, uh, the present continuous, to practice the present continuous. Do you... Uh, do you remember sentences from the song, guys? Escribanlas en el, en el chat. Don't be afraid. Hey, come on. Everybody writing. Let's chat. Okay. I'm dying. Yeah, for crying. Good. Uh huh. Yeah. Who's singing the song? Who's singing the song? Mm 
Yeah, across the sea, we are sailing good, uh-huh. There you go, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yes, Rod Stewart. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you everybody for participating in the chat. This is a very good activity. Everybody was thinking, everybody was trying to write something and very good, you did a good job. You did a good job. Congratulations guys. Guys, you did a good job. I'm flying. Yeah, I'm flying. <laughs> okay, there you are. We're going to take the attendance, okay? Now we are ready. We are together. So let's start with the attendance tonight. Just let me go with you. Remember to turn on your cameras, guys, and also to say present when you listen to your name. Okay, Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodriguez. Are you there, Alejandra? I remember that you were there, okay. Alexis Antonio Sandoval Morales. Ana Cristina Chavarria Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Present teacher. Okay. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Okay. Vladimir Antonio Santos Valdivieso. Present teacher. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Present teacher. Okay. Jonathan Ernesto Fuentes Marín. Present teacher. José Atilio Mangán de Alvarado. I think he got sick. Okay. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Present teacher. Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Present. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. Luis Roberto Mejía Menéndez. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Nancy Beto Rivera. Present. Omar Alfredo Mozo Flores. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Present. Okay. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present teacher. Auri Elena Segovia Rugamas. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Edwin, are you there? Oh. Uh, Felix Moises Blanco Araniva and Javier Adolfo Mendoza Tobar. Okay, there we are. Okay, dear students, only two questions. I am listening to it to remember. Okay, very good, Nancy. Very good. Uh huh. Okay. Jonathan, you said only two questions? Only no, two questions no, no, no. on the song. The song, sí. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, very good. No, Se no, perdieron no. de una bonita actividad, chicos. Los que entraron ya tardecito, vieran qué bonito estuvimos chateando. <laughs> Ajá, okay. En la próxima clase entramos chateando, okay? Okay. In the next class we chat. Okay, let's see. Let's read the objective for today and the agenda. Okay.
Here we are. Okay, the, the agenda for today. What day is it today, guys? What day is it today? <laughs> June 11, <laughs> 2021. Very good. Today is June the 11th of 2021. Very good. Now let's see the agenda. The first thing is that we are going to know about the objective for this class, okay? Then we are going to do a reading activity and the page 34 of your manuals. And what are you doing these days will be the other, it's kind of a feedback. And then we are going to do a written activity with that um, information that we get with that uh, question. What are you doing these days? Con esa pregunta vamos a obtener información. Entonces con esa información vamos a hacer una pequeña conversación entre ustedes los estudiantes y luego vamos a grabar esa conversación. Okay, now let's go to the objective for this class. The objective for this class is simple. Get there. Do you want to read the objective for this class, Raquel, please? Okay. Participant will be able to talk about temporary situation using present continuum. Okay. Thank you very much, Raquel. So First of all, we're going to do just a little feedback about the activities, ongoing activities, and other kind of activities that we can, um, we can do in our workplaces or maybe in the place where we study, okay? But in this case, we are talking about a company, okay? Uh, a workplace activity. Okay, let's see. These are kind of different, different um, activities, okay? Let's go to page 34 in our manuals, page 34. Let's go to page 34. Okay, what do you think they are talking about? What do you think they are talking about. ¿De qué creen que está hablando este artículo? Vamos a la página 34 del manual y ahí podemos ver. Okay, there we can see. For example, if you see number one, organize yoga classes. Number two, celebrate birthdays. Number three, paintball. Four, guess who? What do you think this is? What do you think? ¿Qué creen que son estas cosas que vamos a leer? Activities to keep employees. Yes, correct. To keep employees happy, right? To keep employees happy that they feel good in the workplace, okay? These are activities to help to the good mental, mental health, right? Mental health, good um, so, socialization, okay? Socialization, I'm sorry, socializing and socialization. <laughs> oh my God, I'm kind of dope today, as yesterday. <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> now let's see. I'm going to play the audio and you are going to read along, okay? Ustedes van a ir leyendo conforme escuchan el audio. There you go. Activities uh, to maintain our employees happy. Think about yourselves, okay? There you go. Activities to keep your employees happy. Number one organize yoga classes. If you work in an office and your employees are sitting at computers every day, don't underestimate the impact yoga could have on their attitude and outlook. 
Yoga can help alleviate stress, calm the mind, release tension, improve brain function, and lift mood. What boss wouldn't want those outcomes? Number two, celebrate birthdays. You don't just have to rely on business games to boost morale. Simply acknowledging special occasions can have a big impact. It shows your team that you care about them as people, not just as employees. Get everyone to sign a card, have cake once a month, or simply buy them a round of coffees each time someone in your team has a birthday. Number three, paintball. Give your employees an opportunity to laugh off some team by organizing a day of paintball. Simply getting out of the office can work wonders for staff morale. Watch out though, as the boss, you're going to be the prime target. Number four, guess who? Ask everyone to bring a childhood photo of themselves and put them all up in a board and get everyone to put their best guesses forward on each one. It's a bit of easy, light-hearted fun that will definitely help lift spirits while offering plenty of humor along the way. Okay. Can you identify the gerunds? Can you identify the gerunds? Pueden identificar aquí en, en el texto los verbos con ing. Sitting. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's think about this paragraph. Let's think about the other paragraph. Organize Joe class. Okay. If you work in offices and your employees are sitting. Sitting, okay, very good. Another ING form of the verb here. Otro verbo con ING. In West, in West Hall. Ask every everyone to bring. Ah, that's a very good one. Okay, but in this case, in this case, this is an infinitive. Así se escribe este verbo. Este verbo no está en gerundio aquí. Aquí este verbo, así se escribe y significa traer. Okay, uh, so bring. Trayendo sería bringing. Okay, bringing. Bring. Yes. Vemos que aquí hay una ING y es muy bueno que lo haya notado. Ok, pero no es un gerundio. Así se escribe traer. Ok. Ok. There you go. So now let's see over here. Let's see. We said sitting. We said sitting. Then. Uh, uh, no, no, get, get it. Get it. Getting, uh -huh. getting uh -huh. uh, uh, acknowledging, acknowledging, look, acknowledging, organizing, organizing, uh -huh. getting, getting, uh -huh. offering, offering, good, going, going. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Offering. Offering. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we can identify, right? We can identify the gerunds. In this case, let's see. Let's see what activities are here. What activities are here? For example, the complete activity, the complete activity will be, for example, says here, sitting at computers. Sitting at computers. La actividad completa lleva el verbo y el complemento, ¿verdad? Sitting at computers is la actividad. Okay, let's see another activity. Ajá, el verbo con ING. 
y el complemento. For example, you say acknowledging special occasions. Acknowledging special occasions. Okay. Do you see another one? Employees are seen at computer every day. Employees are every day. Okay, organizing a day of pain. A day of pain. Okay, organizing a day of pain. Getting out the office. Getting out of the office. Getting out of the office. Do you see? Now let's see. The last one was you say offering, right? While offering, offering plenty of humor. Offering plenty of humor, right? Offering plenty of humor. So now let's see. Again, this reading, let's listen and read. There it goes for the second time. Activities to keep your employees happy. Number one, organize yoga classes. If you work in an office and your employees are sitting at computers every day, don't underestimate the impact yoga could have on their attitude and outlook. Yoga can help alleviate stress, calm the mind, release tension, improve brain function, and lift mood. What boss wouldn't want those outcomes? Number two, celebrate birthdays. You don't just have to rely on business games to boost morale. Simply acknowledging special occasions can have a big impact. It shows your team that you care about them as people, not just as employees. Get everyone to sign a card, have cake once a month, or simply buy them a round of coffees each time someone in your team has a birthday. Number three, paintball. Give your employees an opportunity to laugh off some team by organizing a day of paintball. Simply getting out of the office can work wonders for staff morale. Watch out though, as the boss, you're going to be the prime target. Number four, guess who? Ask everyone to bring a childhood photo of themselves and put them all up in a board and get everyone to put their best guesses forward on each one. It's a bit of easy, lighthearted fun that will definitely help lift spirits while offering plenty of humor along the way. What do you think about these activities? Do you like these activities? Does your company organize these kind of activities? Yes, celebrate birthdays. Okay, good. How do you celebrate? How do you celebrate birthdays? How do you celebrate birthdays? What activities do you do to celebrate birthdays in your company or in your workplace? ¿Qué hacen? ¿Qué actividades hacen? Only cake and soda. <laughs> okay, cut a cake. Cut a birthday cake. Uh -huh. Birthday cake. Uh -huh. Lunch. Oh, good. Lunch oh, meetings. Good. Good. Mm -hmm. Oh, dinner in the restaurant. Oh, very good. Lunch in the restaurant. Okay, okay. Okay, now let's see. Let's see. We are going to complete the activity that we have in page 34 in our in our manuals, okay? So let's read number one. Let's read number one. Do you see, we have to say if 
the statement is true or if it is false, okay? We have to say if it is true or if it is false. True. True. Number one. Number one. Can you read number one, please? Can you read number one, please? True. Uh, yoga has an important effect on employees. Uh huh. Is it true or false, guys? Is it true or false? True. true. Okay, then circle true. Okay. I don't know if I can do that with these lines because that time I tried, but I couldn't draw it. Let me see, for example, like this. Let me check if I can. It says true. Ah, there you are. Okay, number two. Can you number read number two? two? True. But it doesn't call the mind. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Is it false. true or is it false? False. false. Let's go to read. Let's go to read. It says here, yoga mm -hmm, can help alleviate stress. Mm -hmm. it's, it's true. Calm the, mind. Calm the mind. Ah, so it can help, right? It can help. So let's go and let's read again. Yoga. Uh huh. Is it true or false? False because. Doesn't call the mind. Call the mind. What do you think? What do you, what think? Do you think, Maria Elena? What do you what think, Juan Carlos? Elena? What do you think, Juan Carlos? Uh, I think uh, it's false think because in the reading, in the reading is positive. Say yoga can help alive stress, alive call the mind, representation, improve brain. Functional life. Okay, very good. What do you think, Karina? It's false. Why is because, it false? Because yoga calm the mind. They say it doesn't calm the mind. Uh huh. And only one part is true, and the and the, the other, other is false. false. Yeah. So like philosophy, right? <laughs> yes. True, false, 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 true. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> Very good. Okay, let's see. Is it true or false, everyone? Let's see. Who wants? Who wants? A ver, quién gana acá? Let's debate. Discutámoslo. Okay, Kevin, do you think it is false or is it true? Number two, teacher. Yes, number two. False. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. Thank you, Ana Cristina. So you see, yes, it is false because it should say and, right? And, right? Okay, then it is false. You said it is false, right? Let me get the, the pen here. Mm -hmm. Okay, number three. Based on the reading, special occasions are not important. 
Based on the reading, special occasions are not important. What do you think? False. Yeah, I think so too, but I want to hear everybody. Let's see, Juan Carlos, what do you think? It's false. Okay. Why? Because it's saying that you. Uh huh. Because. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. So now let's see number four. Can you read number four, Nancy, please? Um, true. Okay, can you read it? Read the sentence. Um, because an opportunity of pain is happy. Okay, but just uh, read the sentence. Solo léalo. Just read the sentence. Okay. 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 Workers can play paintball is in the office. Okay. What do you think, guys? Can you play inside the office paintball? Paintball. No. No, all right. <laughs> what, what do you think it will happen? Oh my God. Yeah. It will be a mess. Uh huh. It will be, it, it will be a mess inside, right? It needs to be outdoors. Outdoors. Okay. There are some camps special for, for that activity, right? Special camps for that activity. So it is. Balls. Okay, now let's see number five. <laughs> number five. Who wants to read number five? Giovanni, do you want to read number five, please? Sure, hold. Uh-huh. What do you think? Childhood photos can offend employees. True or false? Se pueden ofender si, si ponen las fotos de niños. Cuando eran niños. False? Okay, let's uh, try false here. Let's mark false. Because they are only participating the people who agrees with the activity, right? Mm, sometimes I think that if you don't want to participate, it's not a problem. But you should participate and you should do activities that everybody can participate, right? Lo bonito es participar, ¿verdad? Y que todos participen. Ok. ¿Alguna pregunta acerca de esta lectura? Any questions about any question about this reading? No questions? No question. No teacher. Ok. Teacher, mm -hmm. tell me what is West, West in Spanish? What, what word? What is West 
Let me see because I can't get it. Uh, and what activity is that word? ¿En qué actividad? Number four. West. Ah, guess who? Guess. Eso se pronuncia guess who. Ese es adivina quién. Guess significa adivinar. Entonces, guess who significa adivine quién es, right? Adivine quién. Okay. It's a game. It's a game. Uh -huh. Okay, let's see. Now let's continue, guys, because we have to uh, practice something else. Okay. This is very important. Hay algún cable de audio, chicos, que está afectando. Hay bastante interferencia. Verifiquen su cable de audio, conéctenlo bien. Por favor. Ok. Ahí está. Yeah, it's not mine. It's not mine. Ok, there you are. Ja. Apreté la que no era. Aquí. Here we are. Now let's practice. Let's practice the present continuous for temporary situations. And let's read these two questions. What are you doing these days? What are you doing these days? Where are you living at the moment? Where are you living at the moment? Okay, these two questions have something in common. They are asking for an activity that it is temporary, okay? The, the phrases or the expressions these days, at the moment, this year, this month, are to give this reference, okay? Are to state that that activity that we are requesting or talking about is just for a certain period of time, okay? O sea que en algún momento esa actividad va a terminar. Esa actividad comenzó antes de ahorita, pero va a seguir después de ahorita y va a finalizar en un momento previsto, probablemente no exacto al momento, ¿verdad? But let's see. For example, here, it says, what are you doing these days? What are you doing these days? Do you remember the conversation from yesterday that we were saying uh, these two people were taking an English course just like you are? Do you remember that? Okay, taking an English course, it's for certain periods of time. So those activities are temporary, temporary. Okay, now let's see. Let's see here. I'm going to ask, what are you doing these days, um, Maria Elena? Um, I'm taking an English course. Very good. I'm taking an English course. Good. Now let's see. Imaginémonos, imaginémonos que a la persona que le preguntamos está viviendo temporalmente en algún lugar porque probablemente se va a mudar o probablemente está buscando un nuevo empleo y ten, tenga que moverse, ¿verdad? We can ask this question. Where are you living at the moment? 
where are you living at the moment? Probablemente está buscando rentar una casa, ¿verdad? Y les pregunta a ustedes, right? Something about that house. Then you say, where are you living at the moment, right? Where are you living at the moment? So we can use these expressions with any, with any WH word question. We can ask why, how, what, when, who, okay? And we can use these expressions because everything could be temporary when we use uh, this present continuous, okay? It could be a temporary situation. So now let's see, let's see, because I want you to do something, okay? I want you to do something. Go there. Voy a dejar de compartir ahorita y vamos a hacer unos ejercicios, ok. Vamos a transformar oraciones, vamos a ver qué es lo que sucede acá. Okay, aquí está. The first thing that we are going to do is to, uh, to give the infinitive form of the verb. Let me share the screen for you. Okay, I don't know what this move a lot. There you are. Okay, here we go. Everybody, please activate your audio. Activate your audience. And let's say, what is the infinitive form of, the, of these verbs? Okay, so let's start. Number one. Help. Okay, there you are. Everybody, please, everybody. Mm -hmm. What is the other? Managing. Say managing. Manage. There you are. Manage. Mm -hmm. What is the infinitive form of what that verb? ¿Cuál sería el verbo en forma infinitiva ahí? Manage. 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 Okay. Manage. Let's remember. We drop letter E. Right. There you are. Next one. Have. Um, there you are. Next one. Supervise. There you are. Next one. Next one. Next one. Next one. Next one. Okay. Prepare. Prepare. Uh huh. I can't hear you, Omar. Prepare. Prepare. There you are. There you are. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. There you yes. are. Uh -huh. Rain. 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 Okay. Enjoy. Juan Carlos, Enjoy. I cannot hear you. Enjoy. 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 Um, there you are so if you see we drop letter e and then instead of that we write ing do you see ing ING, 
ing there you are so now let's see the other this is in the contrary okay in the contrary you have to write the ing verb form okay Ok, ¿qué vamos a hacer ahora? Ustedes pueden entrar a escribirlo, ok? A ver, number one. There you are. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. Uh -huh. Very good. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> what about have? Uh huh. Okay. Nice. There you are. Good. Okay. Entonces vimos tres reglas muy fáciles y muy. Um, eh, de tomar en cuenta, ¿verdad? Cuando estamos para el spelling de los ING verb form. We have to take in consideration that when a verb, when a verb ends in a letter E, we just drop the letter E and write ING, right? Then, tenemos dos formas de, oh, perdón, tenemos dos Um, tres sería para cuando tenemos verbos de una sola sílaba, ¿verdad? Cuando tenemos verbos de una sola sílaba y que terminan en una consonante. Pero la consonante debe estar antecedida por una vocal para que podamos hacer doble la consonante. Por ejemplo, helping, ¿verdad? Que no va antes una vocal va una consonante, Mucho. ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces no hacemos doble P. No. Pero en get, como antes de la consonante, va una vocal, entonces sí le doblamos la, hacemos, do, la repetimos. Mucho. Excuse me, tell me. Se escucha mucha interferencia de un micrófono. Sí, así estoy sintiendo que hay una interferencia de un eh, cable de audio, chicos. Revisen Mejor dónde está. De, de apagarlo mientras no están hablando. Exactamente. Thank you very much, Jonathan. Thank you very much. Cuando no estén participando, pueden apagar. Al que tiene el problema, no sé si ya identificó su problema el que lo tiene para que no se oiga mucho la internet. Ha de ser el, el conector, la espiga. Ok. Now, what about this one? What about this one? Rain. Ah, this is an exception, right? Esa es una excepción, ¿verdad? Porque no doblamos la letra N, ¿verdad? Aquí no doblamos la letra N, ¿sí? Entonces, es bueno que aprendamos y memoricemos el spelling para la hora de escribir, ¿verdad? Porque al decirlo suena igual. Get, getting. Rain, raining. Ahora veamos. ¿Está correcta este enjoying? 
Is it correct? This? No. No, it is not, right? Okay, ¿qué falta ahí? What is missing? La Y le faltó. Yes, correct. Can you add it? Wait. <laughs> Exacto. Los que terminan en la Y o en la Y no pierden la Y. O sea, no, no cambian como cuando va, eh, como en otros tiempos del verbo. En este caso, te mantiene. Ok, te mantiene. Okay, let's remember that. Enjoying, right? Ying. Enjoying. No me deja borrarlo, no sé, quizás porque lo está moviendo usted. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. No, it, it shouldn't uh, be a problem. Sí, no me, no me deja eh, cambiar. Es que tiene, tienes que poner seleccionar arriba en la, en la barra de menú. O de una vez poner eraser. Sí, ya lo, tengo, ya, o sea, ya lo tengo seleccionado y todo, pero, pero nada, no me da okay. chance. Si, si, me, si le doy a escribir, sí, sí, ve. pero borrar no, no sé por qué no. Ok, no ok. Pero estamos claros que ahí falta la Y, right? Ok, let's continue, guys. Let's continue. We are going to continue with the activities for today. Today is a day to practice. This is the day for reviewing. Ah, I remember that someone told me. There you are. Okay. Let me go to the other. Now let's see this other exercise. Let's see this other exercise. Let's transform these sentences into negatives. Number one, number one. My best friend are not going to Spain next year. Very good, Juan Carlos. Está en computadora, ¿verdad? Juan Carlos, le voy a dar el control. Let's see. No me aparece en la lista, Juan Carlos. Pero usted puede agregar texto, ¿verdad? Juan Carlos. Yes. Ok. Entonces, meta un cuadro de texto acá. Y la hey. escribe. Puedo escribir la siguiente, teacher. Sí, pero en cuadro de texto, si me hace el, ah. fa si me hace el favor. Ajá. Okay, Para que quepa, porque si no se nos va a regar todo. Hasta que le dé enter, Juan Carlos va a aparecer ahí. Ok. There you are. Ajá, let's see. Teacher. Ajá. Creo que se sigue escuchando mucho la interferencia, es algo molesto para los sí, que tienen tiene audífonos. Tienes razón. You are completely right. Ok, let's see. Ok. No me aparece para cuadro de texto, pero yo creo que sí lo puedo escribir eh, pequeño. Con el lapicito, ok. With a little sí. pencil. Go ahead. Okay. Vamos a ver. ¿Qué color quiere que se lo escriba? Azul. <laughs> My favorite is red. My favorite color ah, is red. Ok. 
Vamos a ver si se puede. Si se puede, si se puede. Ah, sí, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Es algo difícil aquí. Okay. ok, good, very good. Para sonar más fluido, no utilizamos siento, contracciones, ¿verdad? Utilizamos contractions. Ok, el easy. So, yes, but let's see the, the, the one that Juan, that Juan Carlos uh, wrote. It says, aren't. The apostrophe should go after letter N, ok? El apóstrofe de, debe ir después de la letra N. Pero creo que fue un errorcito de dedo, ¿verdad, Juan Carlos? Yes. Okay, there you are. It was, eh, error de dedo en inglés es a typo, okay? Typo, it's a typo. It's a typo. Yeah, it's a typo. Okay, there you go, guys. Let's see number three. Number three. Ya hoy sí ya pude borrar, teacher, es que. Okay, there you are. Okay, there you are. Ajá, uh -huh. go, go. Do it. Teacher, yo creo que es el micrófono de Carla el que da la interferencia. Sí, yo creo que ese es también porque aparece el cuadro de ella. Oh, ok. Carlita, nos hace el favor ahí, revise la espiga. The manager is sending the invitation email. The manager isn't, isn't what? Falta un verbo ahí, right? Isn't. Everybody help. Everybody help. Ahora es de Ana Cristina está haciendo film. Intenta entrar de nuevo y no puedo. No pudo. Okay, let me try. Let me try and go over there. Let me try to correct. Uh, no, if let's select and it says, uh -huh. isn't stunting. Okay, there you are. Thank you, Ana Cristina. You did it good. Just re uh, it was a typo, right, Ana Cristina? <laughs> let's say yes. <laughs> Okay, number number four, right? Okay, pero yo quiero que lo lean, que lean la, la, la positiva y que cuando escriban la negativa también me la lean, okay? Okay, the manager is sending the invitation email. Okay. The manager is not sending the invitation in email. Very good. Next one. Let's see next one. Who wants to participate? Who wants to participate? Me teacher. Okay, go ahead. The there, employees there you go, are Carla. getting go, ready go. for mm -hmm. the employees are getting ready for the chat. Charles, dice ahí change, dice, ¿verdad? Changes. No se ve por la letra. Yeah, changes. It changes, uh -huh. No se ve por la letra de email. Yeah, okay. because... The employees aren't getting ready for the changes. Changes. Mm -hmm. Go, Carla. You were doing okay. Continue, Carla. Continue, Jonathan. Okay. We 
we are improving the presentation of the product. We aren't improving the presentation of the product. Okay. Karina, can you can you write? Didn't you try? Okay, try. En cualquiera. Yeah, which one do you want? Okay. Which one? No me cabe, teacher. <laughs> es que tal vez puede utilizar el, el cuadrito de texto. Yeah, a text box. Estoy con el celular. Ah, sí, tiene que ser con el lapicito. Sí. Hágalo así chiquitito. <laughs> María Elena, try. Con el lapicito y escribe sobre, like this. I can because I am the phone. Okay. Gordi, préstame tu dedo. I can say the. Okay, the tell. Yeah. Are receiving the best technological advice. Okay. The customer are receiving the best technological okay. advice. Very good. Préstame tu dedito. Sí, okay. estaba, estaba intentando escribir la última, pero no sé por qué, pero ya no puedo escribir, o sea, no puedo regresar a, a editarla. Ah, tiene que ponerle seleccionar. Okay. Arriba en la barrita hay una crucita que dice seleccionar y le da clic. Ah, okay. Okay, people, you are doing a good job. <laughs> okay, let's say, let Nancy, are you still writing? <laughs> Nancy, ¿todavía está escribiendo? Are you still writing? Está cansada. Okay. It isn't. Uh huh. Teacher, ya no puedo escribir lo último. No. <laughs> okay, but just say it. Say it. Um, he isn't working in New York this semester. Okay, very good. Let's see the other one. It says, uh, "Can you read it, please, Nancy?" This one? Yes, teacher, es que no podía salir de esa pantalla. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. Can you please read it? Okay, new mm -hmm. customer art receiving the best technology Technology advice. Okay, and what is the negative? A new 
consumers are not receiving the best technology advice. Okay, very good. Now let's see, uh, we are going, uh, well, first of all, do you have any question about the vocabulary in these sentences? T teacher, I have mm -hmm. a question. Yes. Uh, what is the, the pronunciation of that, of these words? Which one? It. Taking care of. No, technological. Technological. Ah, technological. Technological. Thank you. Okay. You can write it down. I mean, you can write this um, this word with a letter H after letter C, and it will be okay. Okay. Tech, right? Like that. But it will sound also technological. Okay. Technological. Now. Don't you have any other question, guys? No questions? No questions, teacher. No? Nancy, questions? Ana Cristina, questions? Wendy, questions? Wendy, questions? No question, teacher. Okay, oh, good. Teacher, thank you. Okay. So let's remember then that we are going to use the verb to be in the negative form. And we can use contractions to sound more uh, fluent, okay? For these to sound more fluent because native people use always contractions and also they are linking words. So when, we're, when we speak, then we use contractions all the time. Let's try to do that. Let's try to do that as much as we can, okay? So it will be in this case, for example, number one, it says my best friends aren't, aren't going to Spain next year, okay? Uh, here it's missing a letter T, but don't worry. We know that it is a typo from Juan Carlos, but don't worry, okay? Now let's see, your family is not coming to visit. We could say, your family isn't, right? Your family isn't coming to visit. Now, the other one, the manager isn't sending the invitation email. We aren't improving the presentation of the product. They aren't investing in their personnel. He isn't working in, in New York this semester. Next one, the supervisor aren't taking I'm sorry, the supervisors aren't taking care of the situation. And then last one, new customers aren't receiving the best technological advice, okay? Now, everybody activate your audio and I want to hear you all saying this, okay? Attendee. Uh. Number one, my best friends, uh, the negative, only the negative, okay? Attend literature. My best friends are going to Spain this year. Okay, everybody, please. Uh, and then we're going to do that of taking the attendance. My best friends aren't going to Spain next year. Everybody. My best, My best friends, friends aren't going, going to Spain next year. Spain next year. Okay. Okay. Your family isn't coming to visit. Your family isn't coming to visit. The manager isn't sending the invitation email. We are, uh, we have one missing here, okay? The employees aren't getting ready for the changes, okay? The employees aren't getting ready for the changes. Okay, we aren't improving the presentation of the product. We are we improving, improving the presentation of the product. Of the product. They aren't investing in their personnel. They, they are investing in their personnel. He isn't working in New York this semester. 
He's in New York. The supervisors aren't taking care of the situation. The supervisors aren't taking care of the situation. New customers aren't receiving the best technological advice. New customers are Okay, very good. Now, please, everybody, um, close your mics. Everybody, okay, thank you. And we're going to take the attendance at this moment. So when I say your name, you activate your audio to say present. Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodríguez. Present teacher. Ana Cristina Chavarría Flores. Cristina Chavarría Flores. Present teacher. Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Present teacher. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Vladimir Antonio Santos Valdivieso. Present teacher. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Present teacher. Jonathan Ernesto Fuentes Marín. Present. Um, Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Present teacher. Okay, Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Present. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Present teacher. Nancy Ivette Tova Rivera. Present teacher. Omar Alfredo Mozo Flores. Present teacher. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Present. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present. Auri Elena Segovia Rugamas. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Félix Moisés Blanco Araniva, Javier Adolfo Mendoza Tobar. Okay, we are going to continue with this. Okay, this is another one. This is another one. And we have to give a complete answer to the questions, okay? Complete answer to the questions. It means that you have to formulate a complete sentence. Let's remember the formula. Subject, the to be verb, ing form of the verb, and then the complement, right? The complement. So let's start. Let's start. Who wants to go first? Giovanni, number one. What are they doing? Excellent. What are they doing? Here it says the activity that they are doing. Okay, so let's write a sentence to answer that question. They are sing singing. Uh huh. They are singing. singing. Here. Let's remember the structure. Let's remember the structure. Okay. They are sing a song. ¿Cómo va el verbo? El verbo sing lo tendríamos que cambiar, ¿verdad? A otra forma. ¿A cuál forma? 
singing. 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 Correct. Correct. Uh -huh. Singing. Singing. Lo va a escribir, Giovanni. Lo va a escribir, Giovanni. Okay. Okay. Okay, there you go. Okay, there you go. Si le cuesta mucho, Giovanni. Yes, teacher. Ok, lo voy a escribir yo entonces. I'm going to write it. Ok, ahora ustedes me dicen la respuesta. You, you tell me the answer, ok. What is the answer here? They. Uh -huh. Ajá. Singing a song. Okay, good. Let's remember the structure is the subject, the verb be, the ing verb form, and the complement. You see? Now, number two. Ana del Carmen, can you read the question, please? What are the supervisors going tomorrow? Okay. Um, they. This is the activity. So they are checking, checking the supervisors. Okay, what is the subject? What is the subject? Who is doing the activity? The supervisor. Supervisors. Okay, then we could say they or we could say the supervisors. Okay. The supervisors. They are, they are the supervisors. Ajá. Ahora el verbo be. Checking. Now the verb uh, be. Are, are, uh -huh. are checking. Very good. Checking. Checking. Uh -huh. The invent, invent, inventory. Inventory. Okay. Inventory. Inventory. Mm -hmm. There you go. Here we are. This is the answer. There we are. The supervisors are checking the inventory. Now the supervisor let's... checking the inventory. There you go. Mm -hmm. Number three. Can you read number three, please, Kevin? Where are you having lunch um. with the new client? Thank you. Now, Kevin. <laughs> yes, read. Read the question. Uh, when are you having lunch with the new clients? Okay, Carlos Eduardo, what is the answer? Do you Number want three. to write it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> They are, they are having lunch mm -hmm. next Monday. Okay, they, why they? Por qué they? When are, cuando, when are you, ah, when are you having? Uh-huh. Uh, okay, 
I having lunch, then I having lunch. I having lunch. Having lunch. The next one then. Okay. I am having. I am having lunch. Next one. Okay. Pero como estamos haciendo una oración completa, utilicemos todo el vocabulario que sea posible, right? Okay. Ajá. Yeah. ¿Lo va a escribir usted o lo escribo yo? Yeah. ¿Lo escribo yo? Carlitos. Teacher, one question, uh -huh. teacher. Tell me. In, in number two, uh, uh, the supervisor is checking the, the inventory. Oh. No, because it is, it is plural. So plural. it's not oh, only okay. one supervisor. Ah, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. it's true. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. No me ha fijado. No me ha fijado. <laughs> Okay, Omar. Es plural, ok. Thank you, yes, teacher. it's plural. I'm going to select it to put it uh, down there. Uh huh. What do you think, guys? Do you agree? Is it correct? Help me, guys. I am la expresión de tiempo or the time expression goes to the end, right? It goes at the end of the sentence. So I let's have... say I'm going I'm going in, Cal. Uh, are you are you correcting it? I have lunch to next Monday. ¿Están de acuerdo todos? ¿Está correcto? Is it correct? Next Monday. Uh, Science next Monday. And, 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 um, Por último. Uh -huh. The time expression goes to the end. So. I am having lunch with the new client to next Monday. Okay, solo que no diríamos to, solo le pondríamos next Monday. Entonces quedaría, I am having lunch with a new client next Monday. Okay? I am having lunch with a cl new client next Monday. Acordémonos siempre de la estructura que, que les di la clase pasada. ¿Cómo es la estructura? ¿Cómo es la estructura del presente continuo? Un sujeto. ¿Qué más? Verb to be. Ajá. Verb be. ¿Qué le sigue? Eh, the gerund. The gerund. The gerund. Y luego oh, el complemento. Complemento. Para tener un poco de eh, exactitud, acordémonos, time expressions, busquemos ponerla hasta el final. La frecuencia o the adverbs of frequency, eso sí irían allá en medio o al principio, ¿verdad? Ok, let's see number four, let's see number four. What is your husband doing in the supermarket? Uh -huh. What is the answer? My husband uh, to buy la estructura milk. correct. Uh -huh. My husband is is to buying milk. Ahí no diríamos to, so diríamos buying, buying, correct. Buying milk in the supermarket. Very good, there you are. 
My husband is buying milk in the supermarket. Porque esa es la preposición que tenemos ahí, ¿verdad? In. Pero suena quizás mejor with at the supermarket. Ok. Buying milk at the supermarket. Number five. Let's see. Uh, let me write it down. Let me write it down for you. Okay. My husband is buying milk mm -hmm. at the supermarket. Okay. In the supermarket or at the supermarket, depending on the speaking. I mean, the occasion, I think. There you are. Next one, number five. Number five. What are you doing in New York next week? Uh huh. What will be the answer for that question in a complete sentence? I am. Mm -hmm. Doing. Cuando nos preguntan that... doing. Buscamos la acción o la actividad que estamos haciendo. Ya no respondemos con doing, ¿verdad? A menos que la acción lleve doing, for example, doing uh, the cleaning up or doing the washing uh, up uh, or something like that. Pero por el contrario, aquí nos están diciendo el verbo, mire. I am trying... Uh -huh. The new employees, New, new York. Okay, very good. Uh -huh. I am Try, training uh -huh. the, new, the new employees in New York next week. Very good. Okay, I am training the new employees. Uh -huh. in New York next week. Okay. Utilizando todo, uh, next I said, next. Utilizando toda la información posible, ¿verdad? Todo el vocabulario posible. I am training the new employees in New York next week. There you are. Any question about this? Do you have questions? No questions, teacher. No questions. Okay, then uh, we are going to continue with the conversation that we have in our manuals. I think it was page 37. Let me go there and confirm it. It's page, uh, yes, 37. Page 37. Okay, we are going to split into the breakout rooms and you are going to practice the conversation. We did it last class. Do you want to remember the vocabulary or are you okay? You want me to read it once? Se los leo una vez, verdad? Let me share the screen. Mejor no, así no salen los errores, bien claro. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see. Um, there's this thing here. There you are. Now let me share the screen and let me see if it is okay. And it get it. Yes, it got it. So you don't want me to read? Do you think it is okay?
Ok, de todas maneras lo vamos a leer así rapidito una vez. Ok, only once. Hi Beth, long time no see. How are you? Hello Ever, what are you doing these days? I'm okay. Well, I'm working on a new project and also I'm taking an English course these days. How about you? That sounds great. What a coincidence. I am also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace these days. I know. A colleague who completed the course is taking a training in England these days. You're right. I'm studying on my own, you know. I'm reading novels to have better results. Great. Well, I'm doing listening exercises. They help a lot. Ok, después que practiquen la conversación, after you practice the conversation, van a ir a la página 38. Ok, y aquí dice, write a six line paragraph about temporary events at your workplace. Ok, write a six line paragraph about temporary events at your workplace. ¿Se recuerdan que ayer les pedí que pensaran en tres actividades que tenían que hacer o que estaban haciendo temporalmente o unas situaciones temporales en su trabajo, algo planeado para estos días? Eh, esas tres actividades las pueden poner ahí. ¿Ok? Those three activities. So we are going to split into the breakout rooms now and I will give you some time, ¿ok? For you to work. ¿Alguna pregunta? Any question? No questions. ¿Se entiende lo que vamos a hacer? Do you understand what we are going to do? Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay. There you are. You are receiving now the joining invitation. Wendy? Wendy, are you there? Wendy. Wendy. Carla Verónica. Hello. Hello, teacher. You are alone here. Está usted solita. Sí, eh, sigo esperando. Sí, veo que le toca a Wendy, pero yo creo que ya se ha quedado como trabado él. Porque no entra, ¿verdad? No, nadie se conecta. There she is. 
Hello, Wendy. Wendy. Okay, Carla, please you um, practice the conversation with Wendy as soon as she gets ready, okay? Cuando esté lista, usted comienza con ella. Voy a otro grupo ahorita y luego regreso por acá. Okay, okay. okay. Thank you. Trabajo también. Eh, podría ser, por ejemplo, se decía a, a, a un curso marketing a the support. Hello, Vladimir. How are you? How do you feel? How is your back? Hello, teacher. ¿Cómo está su espalda? Con dolor. Oh, okay, okay. Me duele bastante. We will consider you, okay? Lo vamos a considerar, pero solo platique, aunque no se mueva. <laughs> okay. Entonces, okay, here what you have to do okay, is like este... sentences, right? Sentences. Let's try doing sentences. And then we are going to link the sentences. But at the moment, think about sentences. For example, you said that you were taking a course, right? And your job. Vladimir or Carlos. Who said? Quien dijo que estaba recibiendo un curso de tecnología or something? Well, yes, uh, for example, uh, talking with Vladimir, about the what is temporary event in at your workplace okay yeah course of marketing example mm -hmm. of uh, maybe okay the question let's remember that the question is what are you doing these days what are you doing these days okay Y de ahí para allá vamos a hacer las oraciones de algunas actividades. For example, you could say, I am taking an English course. I am visiting clients next week or something like that, right? Yeah. Siempre es, eh, para, para formarla se, se pondría el nombre. Por ejemplo, Eduardo. Eh, Eduardo is... Que, Poner. Attending Eduardo, a conference. Eduardo is working on Monday. Okay. Uh huh. Uh, Where? Let's say a place. Digamos un lugar para hacerlo como que es temporal, verdad? Como una situación temporal. Okay. Eduardo is working in the company. Acuérdense de las actividades. What do you think, Carlos Eduardo? Example, uh, I visit by on the new uh, next week. Okay, I am. Oh, I am. Uh, how are uh, the present simple uh, or, or present continuous? 
ahorita todas son de presente continuo porque son actividades que están planeadas temporalmente, sí. ¿verdad? I am, okay. This is flyer, the, new, the next week. Okay. Uh, ese es una future, es un future event, but it is okay, right? Eh, para que lo practique, póngalo ahí. Uh -huh. okay. okay, you say, I am visiting new clients, it's okay, right? You could say also in the place that you have to visit those clients, right? Maybe um, I'm visiting new okay. clients in Aguachapan, for example. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. um, Así lo hace temporal, right? Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, guys, you are doing a good job. So I'm going to another room. Then I come back to you, okay? Thank you. Okay. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hi. You have a question? Una, una okay. Question. Tell me. And estamos pensando que no sé si se refiere a actividades según los ejemplos, actividades temporales. En la empresa o, eh, bueno, eventos eh, de la empresa, no sé. All of that, a todo okay. eso, a todo, todo eso. ¿Qué es lo que okay. vamos a hacer? A decir lo que nosotros tenemos como una actividad temporal planeada, right O que la estamos realizando en este periodo de tiempo, en un periodo de tiempo, pero uh -huh. utilizando todo el vocabulario posible. Entonces, okay. ustedes tienen que ver los ejemplos, ubicarse, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. La pregunta que están respondiendo es igual que la de la conversación. What are you doing these days? What are you doing these days? Son como, eh, son como actividades, o oh, no, es como una... Ajá, es como una actividad que ellos hacen, ¿verdad? Es como lo que hacen. Que ustedes, diario. que ustedes. Ah, o sea, nosotros hacemos diariamente. Planeadas temporalmente. Por ejemplo, I am taking an English course. I am uh, visiting clients in Europe, for example. I am going to Europe to see, uh, to do a negotiation, right? Something like that. I am, um, I am having an interview for a new job. Okay, things like that. Mm -hmm. Things that you have planned. Okay, what teacher. are you doing these days? I am writing the reports for my boss. Okay, I am sending emails. Entonces, todo el vocabulario en sus propias mm -hmm. actividades. Okay? Okay, teacher. There you are. Tomen el ejemplo de la conversación. From the conversation. Ok, teacher. Ok. I'm going to, uh, well, let's, let's stay with you just a little more. And I want to hear you. ¿Ya practicaron la conversación? Did you practice the conversation? Yes, teacher. Ok. Did you switch the roles? Yes. Okay, so now what are they talking about? They say, what are you doing these days? And then the same thing, okay? I want to hear you, for example, what are you doing these days, Giovanni? Uh, I am... Um, no, I call clients. I am... Call client. I am calling. Calling Acuérdese client. de la estructura. I uh -huh. am calling client. Uh -huh. I am, mm. y el complemento ahí, calling client. Calling clients. <laughs> Para, ¿cómo va? Es que, ah. Ajá, uh ajá. -huh, uh -huh. To present a new product, for example. Calling client. Mm. No se vaya lejos, que no vuele, que no vuele la mente. Tráigala <laughs> para acá y piense en lo que tenemos en el vocabulario. Mire el libro, mire sus notas, mire el, lo que hemos visto en la pantalla, mire todo eso, mire el, el chat. 
What are you doing these days, Alejandra? And podría ser I am attention client clients. I am assisting. Assisting, assisting client, client uh -huh. in, in my day or no in el día in todo el día. No sé cómo escribir. Vaya, si es una actividad diaria, acuérdense la diferencia cuando vimos el presente simple y el presente continuo. Ahí no podríamos utilizar el presente continuo de uh -huh. I am y el ING en las cosas de todos los días, ¿verdad? O las rutinas. Okay. En este caso estamos hablando de cosas que son temporales o cosas planeadas en el futuro, ¿verdad? Esas cosas son las que estamos hablando ahorita entonces ustedes me tienen que decir las cosas que están haciendo temporalmente ya sea en un periodo de tiempo por ejemplo I am taking an English course imagínense partiendo de eso I am uh, buying the newspaper for um, uh, let's see for my grandparents ok porque mis abuelos no pueden ir, entonces voy a ir yo, right? So, I am, y digo lo que estoy pensando hacer, right? Or I am planning to do something, right? There you go. Bye. Ya les di bastantes ideas. Now you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, let's hear Giovanni. What are you doing these days? Uh, sería, I am... Uh, Calling client uh -huh. for to make uh -huh. a toast, a to a toast. Is it here? To make what? A toast. No, no, no. What is that? What do, What do you mean? To make. Uh, a negotiation? Yes, but it's como alternative to solve, to solve. It's como para brindar alternativa para poder solventar. Right. To solve, uh -huh. okay. Uh -huh. To solve. Pero to solve. Uh, or to resolve the cases. Como? Ok, uh, exactamente qué es lo que tú quieres decir, qué es lo que usted vaya, quiere decir. Este, lo, vaya, lo que dice Díaz, llamé a los clientes, ¿sí? Para poder brindarles una alternativa para solventar el atraso. Ok, so you will say, I am calling clients to give them an option, ok, to give them an option, uh -huh. to give an option to solve uh -huh. their problem, okay? Right? Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Así estaba más fácil, dicho. <laughs> ya ves, si está fácil, lo único que tiene que ubicarlo así, en una oración. Subject, acuérdense la estructura. Subject, then the verb be, then the ing verb form, and then the complement. Okay? Va, ya, ya. Ahí okay. vamos. Okay, I'm going to another room, guys. Now, what okay. are you doing these days, Alejandra? I am. I am high cleans. Um, in the morning. No sé si se podrá. Ay, no, teacher. Uh, es que si, si se está ubicando en las actividades diarias, no va a funcionar el presente es que no continuo. Es, es que me... Quiero decirle Ajá. como llamar a un cliente eh, a tal hora, por decirlo, el día de mañana a las, uh, las 8 a.m. It's easy. You can say, I am calling a client tomorrow at 8 a.m. Okay. okay. There you go. You, you will say, I am calling a client tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay. 
Okay, teacher. Okay, guys, then continue thinking about six activities. Uh, well, you can think about three, okay? You can think about three activities and let's meet us later, okay? There you are. I'm going to another room. Uh -huh, training. Goi, are going to a training. I'm Okay, people, what are you doing these days, Maria Elena? Okay, uh, well, I am taking an English course. I am doing laundry tomorrow. <laughs> okay. And I am cleaning my house this weekend. Okay, very good. So what are you doing these days, Kevin Antonio? Um, I activities, occasions. Okay. Um, I am a visit, uh, well, tengo la gracias, visiting or visit. Okay, I am claims, visiting. Okay, claims two weekly. Or two uh, week. uh, in two weeks, okay. Two weeks. Okay, okay very so good. Like I am visiting claims two weeks. Okay, good. What are you doing these days, Ana del Carmen? What? <laughs> what I am are checking, you doing these days? I am checking the inventory this day. Okay. Numbers, una o más. I am, I am, again, because I couldn't hear you very well. I am, I am checking the inventory. Okay, very good. Inventory this day. Very good, very good. Okay, guys, now we know how to express the answer for that question. What are you doing these days? We have to say the things that we have planned oh, or maybe okay. the temporary things that we are into, okay? The temporary things that we are um, involved in our workplaces or maybe in our everyday life, right? Okay, guys, it's 10.01. Today's turn is for I I remember it was Carla, right? Carla. Carla, is Carla in? Yes, yes, teacher. Okay. Are you staying with me to the assessment for the assessment? Yes. Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, is there any question about this content? No teacher. No questions, Raquel? Questions? No questions. No questions. No questions. Okay. Let's see. Um, Solo tengo una pregunta, teacher. Tell me. Pero no es no es referente a esto, sino que hasta qué tarea deberíamos de llevar ahora. A la 15. 15. Okay. Yes. 15. 15. Okay. And if you have any problem or any question about the homework, please let me know. Let me know on the WhatsApp. And also if you can help or working groups too by yours, but in your own, okay, then you can do it. Um, 
Okay, time is over. Class is over. So let's meet us tomorrow, guys. Solo déjenme este, recordarles, por favor, que no faltemos, ¿verdad? No faltemos a nuestras clases y procuremos estar a la hora y también que no nos desconectemos, ¿verdad? En medio de la clase, que permanezcamos toda la clase, ¿ok? Ok, okay guys, then. Have a good night. Good night, good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Happy weekend. Okay, Listen. you have to. Bye. For you too. Bye bye. Bye. Pero, pero, me dijo, pero, teacher, ¿no iba a pasar la lista? Oh my God. Yes, I should. I should do it. Iba a hacer eso exactamente. Siempre se me pasa. Dios okay. mío. Okay. <laughs> On Monday. On Monday. Okay. I'm sorry. Ahí me avisa 10 minutos antes de las 10 para que, para que lo... Sí, no se, se me, se me olvidó. Es que estábamos en las... En las um, ¿Cómo se llama? Sí, estábamos en, los, en las salas. Entonces, ahí se nos fue todo. El... Oh, okay. disculpen. Good night, teacher. Ok, I'm going to do the check-in. Have a good night. Thank you very much, Vladimir, for connecting tonight. I hope your back get well. Okay, este teacher. Su, su, su espalda. Thank you, teacher. Okay, have a good night, Vladi. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Hello, Carlita. How are you tonight? How do you feel? Hello, teacher. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Great. Okay, then is there anything I can help you with? Alguna cosa en que le pueda ayudar? Hello, Jonathan. <laughs> you came back. Espérame, Carlita. Okay, okay, there you are. Uh huh. Aha, uh -huh, Carlita, tell me. Uh, okay. No. <sighs> No recuerdo, no remember right now. <laughs> oh, no? Okay. ¿Tiene alguna pregunta? Do you have any question? Um, en una palabra que usted menciona, eh, cuando dice no Gary o no, no Gary, no sé cómo dice. Do you get oh, it? Y cuando dice no bikini, a veces no entiendo exactamente qué. ¿Cómo, cómo? Eh, no le capto, a ver. No sé qué significa en español la palabra cuando dice, no sé si es exactamente así se pronuncia, pero que uh -huh. dice no bikini o algo así. Ah, from the beginning. Uh -huh. From the beginning quiere decir que desde el comienzo. Vamos al comienzo, eso significa from the beginning. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. From the beginning, eso quiere decir que ya estamos casi al final y vamos, te, tenemos que regresar al principio. Uh -huh. Yo ya lo había buscado en internet, pero no me daba. Eh, ok, por se lo voy a escribir en el chat, uh -huh. se lo voy a escribir. From the beginning, así. Ah, yo lo From the beginning, ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Ah, like bikini. Oh, mm -hmm. like the <laughs> island. No, no, no. It is from the beginning. Oh, y la sorry. otra que me dijo. Cuando dice no Gary o no, porque yo entiendo como que dijera nobody, pero dice no Gary. Uh, yo creo que es, do you get it? Do you get it or got it? Lo voy a escribir acá. Do you get it? Quiere decir, entendieron. O oh, ya lo cacharon. Right? So, oh, ah, got it. Got it. 
las dos prácticamente las uso en la misma en el mismo sentido. Do you get it? Or got it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. If you understood, si entendió, okay. Pues okay. ya agarró todo el, el contenido, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> ¿Alguna otra? Dice, eh, para pronunciar esta palabra, las tres palabras Ajá. de eh, work, eh, mundo, eh, work, creo que es palabra, ¿verdad? Work uh -huh. y walk casi tienen la misma pronunciación, uh -huh. pero creo que al final es algo Ajá. que la diferencia es. Vale, entonces vamos a hacer una cosa para que vea la diferencia. Le voy a escribir un trabalenguas, ¿ok? Para que las diferencie ahí. The worst okay. word in the world is war. ¿Ok? The worst, look, look, look at it. The worst word in the world is war. <laughs> the worst uh -huh. word yes. in the world is war. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Um, ¿Qué es lo que hay, que hay que fijarse acá? Okay. Las terminaciones de las palabras. Okay. Sí. Aquí sí tenemos que pronunciar la L para que haga la diferencia. Aquí es word. Tiene que pronunciar la D para que no se oiga como esta que no tiene D al final, mi. Entonces. Y caminar también. Con ah, walk. sí. Entonces, esa es otra. Walk. Ese es walk. Eh, diferente un poquito el sonido. Walk. Uh -huh. walk. Walk. No pronuncia la letra L. You don't pronounce a letter L. You drop it so in the pronunciation. You say walk. Walk. Ajá. Uh -huh. Walk. And work. Vaya, digámoslo juntas. O escúcheme primero y luego lo dice usted. Okay. The worst. Diga. The worst. Worst. The worst. Word. Word. In the world. In the world. Is war. Is war. Okay. The worst <laughs> word in the world is war. <laughs> <risa> Eso words, es para aprender words. a enrollar la lengua, right? Sí, todo se oye como con R. <risa> ok, now it's your turn. Say it. The word, word, in the world is war. Very good, you see. Uh -huh. <risa> yes, you have to be careful with the pronunciation, yes. But this is going to help you. Pronúncielo así muchas veces y va a ver que va a llegar el momento en que va a haber la diferencia. Sí, porque okay. a veces tengo como la palabra en la mente, pero por la pronunciación no, no la digo. Ah, then you are afraid. No, usted tiene que fight the fear. Fight the fear significa, hey, luche contra el miedo, hey, venza el miedo. Fight the fear. Ok. Fight. No importa que nos equivoquemos. If you see native speakers and they say, I, I can speak Spanish, they say, ¿verdad? Ellos dicen, I can speak Spanish. Okay, uh, speak Spanish. And then say, hola, amigo, and just that, right? <laughs> y, y les entendemos aunque lo digan como lo digan, right? So okay. it's the same with us. It's just, don't worry. We are going to understand, but you have to be improving. If you don't say it, then you don't improve. Si usted no lo dice o no lo practica, no corrige su error, entonces no, no mejora, ¿ok? O no avanza, se queda estancado. So please, you say the words. Como le salga al principio, media vez ya se le diga, ok, esto se dice así. Ah, you get it, right? Ahí, you get it, and then, ya lo puede decir fácil, ya lo puedes, ya, lo, ya sabe cómo se dice, ¿ok? Sí, porque siempre cuando uno lo corrigen, como que lo capta más rapidito y ya no se le olvida. Exactly. <risa> Tenemos que perder la pena, ¿verdad? Es que okay. cuando perdemos la pena, es, pues sí, lo más que nos van a decir es no. Vea, 
eso es lo más, no nos van a hacer nada más porque estemos equivocados. Solo se van a reír. But we don't care about that. A mí no me importa, digo usted. Usted ríase, pero o sea, yo lo voy a decir, ¿ok? Ok. Así okay. que ánimo y dígalo, dígalo más aquí en la clase. Aquí estamos para corregir el error. Ok, teacher. Ok, then. Uh, do you have any other question? Or any other, I don't know, opinion? No? No, teacher. Okay. No. Okay, okay then. Um, let's meet us tomorrow and have a good night. Okay. Okay. Good night. Good night and bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you, teacher.